Hi everyone! In today's video, we're diving into how you can create full-length animations, 60 minutes or even longer, using completely free AI tools. That's right! No subscriptions, no watermarks, and no time limits. You'll be able to make high-quality animations with zero cost and use these tools as much as you want. We're going to keep the pace fast because there's a lot to cover from generating scenes, characters, and dialogues, all the way to adding sound effects, everything will be done with AI, and everything will be 100% free. And yes, I'll even show you how to create custom sound effects for your videos in under 10 minutes. To start things off, we'll be using ChatGPT to build the base of our animation project. Let's jump right in. In this video, I asked ChatGPT to create a 3D animation storyboard for me. I made sure to explain the style I was going for so it could match the vibe I had in mind. I also described the main characters, a guy and a girl, aged 25 and 28, and gave a few more details about their look and feel so the animation could reflect the story I wanted to tell. I also shared the story idea with ChatGPT, a plane crash deep in the jungle, and the entire plot unfolds from there. I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, just like you're seeing now. Right after that, ChatGPT generated 10 separate prompts for me, each one designed to help build a scene in the story, super easy to use and ready to go. Then I asked ChatGPT to create individual prompts for each main character, one by one, and here's something really important. I made sure to mention that the background of each character image should be completely black. Why? Because I want to build consistent characters throughout the animation, and a plain black background helps the AI clearly detect and reference each character I create. This way, the character design stays accurate and consistent every time I generate a new image or scene. I've already got the prompts ready for both my male and female characters. Now I'm going to copy the prompt for the first character and head over to Whisk AI. The link is in the description below. Once you're there, you can start generating your character images with no limits at all. That's right, it's completely free, there are no restrictions, and it's super easy to use. You'll be able to create as many images as you want and the process is really smooth, even if you're just getting started. First, we're going to create our main character, and then we'll continue building the consistent version of that same character. All right, the prompt is ready, so I'm going to paste the one for the male character right here. Down here, you can choose the output size of your image. Since I want it to be YouTube friendly, I'm selecting the 16 to nine ratio. Now I'll click this button and it's going to generate two sample images for me. Just wait a few moments while the images are being created. Okay, the first image is done. As you can see, it has a completely black background just like we asked for. The character is super clear and well-defined. If you want to make any changes, you can simply tweak the prompt and regenerate. But if the result isn't what you're looking for, no worries. Just click this button again to get new images. There are no limits, so you can generate as many as you want. Let's wait for the second image to finish. Perfect, both images are now ready. Once you find the one you like, just click on the three dots and hit download. It's that easy. Now let's go back to ChatGPT and do the exact same process for our female character. I'll replace the previous prompt with the new one, paste it here, and wait for the AI to generate the image for me. Take a look at the result. If it's what you had in mind, go ahead and select it. If not, just click the Generate button again to get a new one. You can keep doing this as many times as needed until you get the perfect character that matches your project. Honestly, even having just three or four great images is more than enough, especially when they all have a clean black background. This makes it super easy for any AI tool to recognize the image as a reference, so your character stays consistent throughout your project. Once you're happy with the result, just hit the download button and save the image as your reference. 
Now I'll copy this one as well and head back to ChatGPT to continue building out the rest of the story. Now let's focus on the video creation part. This step is really important. I asked ChatGPT to take the character prompts it gave me earlier, along with the main story idea and the 10 shot breakdown we created at the beginning, and use all of that to optimize the prompts specifically for video generation. What it gave me was a set of 10 refined prompts perfectly tailored for generating scenes using just these two main characters. And as you can see, the results are amazing. Now I can easily generate all the images I need to build out my video. Whether you're creating a short animation or a full length video, up to 60 minutes or more, this method makes the entire process super manageable. At the end of this video, I'll explain exactly how to take these assets and turn them into a full length animated video step by step. All right, I'm going to copy my first prompt from here and head over to Whisk AI. First, I'll clear the previous input. Then right here, you'll see a small arrow button. Click on that, you'll get an option to add images. So click on Add Image. A new window will open. This is where we can upload our character reference images. Click Upload Image, and if you want, you can even add a short description along with the images. I already have mine ready, so I'll upload the image for the male character first by clicking the plus icon, and then do the same for the female character. Just give it a moment to fully upload both images. Once they're uploaded, you'll see them locked in as your reference images, which means every output from now on will follow these exact characters. Now I'll go ahead and paste the first image prompt into the text box, click the Generate button, and wait for it to create our first animated scene. As you can see, the first set of images has been generated, and they perfectly match the male and female characters we provided earlier. Both images look great. You can click on them to see a larger preview and check the details up close. Once you find the one that matches your vision for this scene, simply click on the three dots, hit download, and save it to your computer. Now let's go back to ChatGPT and grab the second prompt. I'll copy it, head back to Whisk AI, clear the previous prompt, and paste it in. Then I'll hit the Generate button and wait for the AI to create our second shot, again using the same consistent characters. Once it's ready, just like before, we'll review the images, check that all the details are correct, and use the three dots to download the best one. And that's it. Now we've got our second scene ready and we can jump back into ChatGPT to keep going with the rest of the video. We'll take the copy prompt from ChatGPT and paste it, and then do exactly the same process. After that, I'll wait to see if it can generate the third prompt for me as well. I paste the new prompt and wait for it to generate. Creating the assets is the most important part of your animation, so make sure every detail is precise. Once it's done, we download it, then take the fourth asset from ChatGPT, copy its prompt, and paste it as usual. Now. After creating the fourth asset, and as you can see, it turned out really nice and clean. You can even create more assets if you want. Here, the character of my boy looks much closer to what I wanted. The previous one had a few issues. I download it, and you can create your next shot the same way. Before we turn our assets into animation, if you've learned something from this video and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and give it a like if you enjoyed. Now I've created all 10 of my shots, and here's an important part. I've numbered them based on the sequence, from one to three, and so on. Then we go back, and using the link in the description, we head into Vidu AI, the AI video platform, to continue working on our project. With this AI, you can create a video in very high quality. Later in the video, I'll show you how to use your credits without limits and remove watermarks from the AI. Now I go back to ChatGPT. I asked it to give me 10 prompts for turning images into videos. You can also use the previous prompts, but it's better to optimize your prompts so they're suitable for video. Here, I specified that the video is a 3D animation and asked it to make sure all the details are correct and to provide camera movements as well. 
As you can see, it gave me all 10 prompts instantly. Each of these prompts is designed for turning a photo into a video. Now I'll copy prompt number one from the list at the top. Now I go back to the Video AI platform. I click on the Image to Video button right here. Then I upload image number one. Make sure to wait until the upload is completely finished. Once that's done, I paste my prompt right here. One really important thing to keep in mind, always make sure your AI model is set to Q1. This gives you the best quality results. Your video will be generated as a five second clip in 1080p resolution, and you don't need to change any other settings. Here, you can also choose how many variations you want. With each generation, the AI can give you one, two, three, or even four different video options. I usually leave it on one. And just like I mentioned earlier, every time you sign up, you can create five videos for free, no credits needed. Now I click the Create button and wait. And just like that, my first video is ready. Before we check the result and move on to creating the second video, let's clear everything first. Click the little X at the top to remove the image. There's also a trash can icon here. Click that to delete your prompt. Now I click here to upload image number two. Then I go back to ChatGPT, copy prompt number two, and paste it right here. Once your image is uploaded, there's nothing else you need to do. Just click the Create button and wait for your second video to be generated. All right, the second video is ready. I'll enlarge it so you can see it better. Look how beautifully it captured all the details. The background has a cinematic feel and the camera movement follows the scene perfectly. It looks amazing. You can easily download your video using this button here. Let me enlarge it again so you can see clearly. And yes, there is a watermark at the bottom. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly how to remove the watermark and get your video without the watermark. Now let's download both our first and second videos. But before I show you how to remove the watermark, let's see how you can use this AI with no limits. As I mentioned earlier, every time you sign up, you can create five 1080p videos for free. Right now, I've used three, so I have two left. To reset that, I log out of my account. I click on my profile picture here, then hit the logout button. It takes me to this page. Now I click on the sign up button at the top and then click continue with email. Now we're on the sign up page and here we need to enter an email address. Using the link I've left for you in the description, go to a temporary email generator site. You can click this button as many times as you want to generate new email addresses. All you have to do is copy the email from here, go back to the sign up page and paste it in, then click next. At this point, it'll ask for a verification code. So we go back to the temporary email site. Click this button down here and you'll be taken to your inbox. If the email hasn't arrived yet, just wait a few seconds and click the reload button to refresh. Once the code shows up, copy it from here, go back to the sign up page and paste it right here. Now we're back on the homepage of Vidu AI. Click on the image to video option again and as you can see, nothing has changed. My remaining two free videos are still here. If you've already used all of yours, it won't show any number here. In that case, just refresh the page, and as you can see, I now have five free videos again, ready to use. That's how you can keep converting all your images into animations for free. Now let's talk about how to remove the watermark. Using the link I've left for you in the description, head over to the AI tool media.io. This is the home page, and up here, hover your mouse over the products menu. You'll see a drop down. Click on the first option, watermark remover. Now click the button, remove watermark from video, and you'll be taken to this upload page. Click on upload here, go to the folder where you downloaded your video and drag it in. Once it's uploaded, you'll see a green circle brush tool appear. This is what we'll use to cover the watermark. You can adjust the size of the brush to fit the watermark perfectly, make it smaller or larger, depending on what you need. All right, the watermark has been removed. I'll hit play so you can see it more clearly. As you can see, there's no trace of the watermark anymore, and the video quality hasn't changed at all. 
Now I click this button to download the video, and just like that, we've got our video completely watermark free. Now it's time to create some sound effects for each shot of our video to bring it all to life. To create sound effects, use the link I've left for you in the description. It'll take you directly to Eleven Labs AI platform. This page looks a bit different from their main homepage, which is why I've shared this exact link. Make sure to use it. Now upload your video, the same one we just removed the watermark from. As you can see, it starts analyzing your video right away, and within just a few seconds, it automatically generates four sound effects tailored to your video's mood and style. You can preview each one by simply clicking on it, and once you find the one you like, just click the download button next to it. The sound effect will be automatically embedded into your video, and you'll be able to use it right away. You can also add click sounds, narration, or even background music to enhance your video even more. Now for uploading your next video, as I mentioned, there won't be any visible button on the screen. All you have to do is click the refresh button at the top and it will bring you back to the upload area. Just follow the same steps again. Click here, upload your next video, and repeat the process. To create enough images for a 60 second video or longer or shorter depending on your video's length, simply adjust the number of images in the first prompt you give to ChatGPT. Guys, I'll make sure to break the video into sections and include the timestamps in the description. That way, if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can jump straight to the part you're interested in. And that's how we get the best experience.